What's up, Aries? This is going to be your weekly reading for August 10th through the 16th. Although, remember, time is fluid. So it really doesn't matter when you see this. You can watch this before the 10th or after the 16th. And when Universe wants you to see it, you're going to see it. Again, I'm on my son's tablet. He's in the bathroom right now. So he stole my phone because he likes to listen to YouTube videos when he's taking a shower. So no video quality and I'm a little washed out, but I don't care. Because all you guys care about is the message. And all I care about is the message I bring to you. Thank you so much for watching a Stella video. I'm sorry that I could only get to your how they feel about you videos last month or last week. And I couldn't get to your weeklies. But my dog Vinny is sick right now. If you watch my other videos, then you can see him in the thumbprint. And he's uh, 14. He's a little pamapu. And I'm going to ask everyone to say a prayer for him in every video I do tonight, which is 12. Because... I love him and so does my son and he's just like I can't imagine not having him so please just say a little prayer for my little Pamafu Vinny and look at the picture and you know get a vision of him in your mind I would really appreciate it also um, remember this isn't gonna resonate with everyone this is for any Aries um, Sun you know um, moon rising and venus also you know just if a little bit of this resonates with you you know take what you can with you throw the rest away and just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe i'm a newbie on youtube i'm not going to say i'm not but i am an experienced reader i've been reading for over 20 years and I absolutely love doing it. And I love helping people with love. It's been my specialty for a very long time. So I'm really glad to be here. So I hope you hit that subscribe button and give me a chance to resonate with you. You know, the more I know about you, the more we can do together. Um, I also do free giveaways every Friday. So every Friday, someone will have a free reading. And at the end of the month, I'm giving away free decks of tarot cards so you can read for yourself. Because believe it or not, you can. I haven't been able to read for myself because I've been reading for other people so long. So I'm always picking up on other people's uh, energy, whether it be my neighbor's energy or my own energy. But you can absolutely do it. All you have to do is like, there's YouTube videos on it, like all over the place. Like, but don't forget to subscribe. And all you got to do is comment underneath that you subscribed and you're in the drawing indefinitely until you win. So, and I hope you do. That would be really amazing. All right. So let's start your love reading for August 10th through the 16th. Okay. All right. So we got the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody has a big old pentacle to give you. That's a Capricorn Taurus or Virgo energy. Um... That's a pretty good pentacle. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a small pentacle. It's not a page. It's the ace, you know. And then after that, you have the six of pentacles, which is kind of the same thing. I mean, someone wants to be generous with you. Someone wants to give to you. If you have children, this person wants to be a part of your child's life, you know. And remember that, you know, there everyone has masculine and feminine energy, so these energies might be interchangeable. But when I see this card in this deck, there's children in it, and it just makes me feel like this person might be good with your children, just so you know. Then we have the Two of Swords, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. All right, this person's blindfolded and has their arms crossed with swords like this across their chest. You might be guarding your heart a little bit, or they might be, and you're not really um, letting someone in completely. Um... I feel like you probably should. Like, I'm not feeling like you have an untrustworthy person here. And then we have the Hydrophant. So when we're thinking about the Hydrophant, I mean, we're thinking about a Taurus and we're thinking about more Earth energy. I'm seeing a lot of Earth energy in this reading so far. And the Hydrophant is like, you know, an authority figure. This person may work with the government or a large co corporation. Um, it can also mean like marriage or a wedding, but it can also mean like divorce. If you're going through a divorce... Or if you're harmed by divorce mentally. So um, 
Just remember that. And then another major arcana, we have strength, which means you're being really strong right now. So when you have strength, I mean, this could be like a Leo. This could be that, you know, you or your person are trying to be really strong through this relationship. And maybe you're not seeing each other so much through this time. Maybe you're talking on the phone or texting and I feel like it's more like texting and you're not talking enough to have a connection because you're being strong. But I mean, you need like skin to skin contact. You need like face to face contact. And I know that's so hard to do and what we're going through right now in our countries. You know, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. You're going through this right now. And it's so hard to connect. And you have to be strong to keep a strong connection. So just remember, I want you to like lay off on the texting and try to like video chat or talk if you can't see each other. I feel like that's very, very important. And if you weren't doing that before, it may have harmed your relationship. So if you're going into a new relationship or trying to get an old one back together, I want you guys to like have that video chat or have that phone call so you're hearing each other's voices you're seeing each other's faces you're looking into each other's eyes or hearing each other's voices it's so important after that we have the seven of pentacles more earth energy capricorn taurus or virgo so when we're talking about the seven of pentacles i mean this is like a little more effort needed and what did i just say like you really need to put more effort into this because this person's like exhausted and frustrated but I think it's from all the texting because remember, like a whole day of texting is seriously like a 15 minute conversation. I don't think people like especially younger people look at it that way. It's like, do you realize everything you put in a text that took you all day to say like is seriously a 15 minute conversation? Like you can say 10 sentences in 15 seconds, depending on how fast you talk, talk, video chat. Stop with the texting. I feel like that. All right, here we got the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Truth cannot be felt through texting. You need to hear a voice. You need to see someone's eyes. You need to be with someone to feel truth and know truth. And maybe um, I feel like that is probably the issue with this relationship. Okay, we're going to clarify these, of course, but intuitively, like, like I said before, I even pulled these just with the strength card and the Hierophant and the two of swords, like, you guys, all we have is pentacles and swords here and major kind of like, I feel like there's just not enough real contact. Like, and even if there is real contact, I feel like it may be um, sexy time contact, but when you're talking, I feel like it's texting and texting just doesn't do it. It doesn't make a relationship strong. You have to be comfortable talking to a person and looking at them and letting them see you right before you go to bed at night with your mom bun in and all and men with your messy hair and being unshaven with a scruffy face, no matter what you look like, someone needs to see you like that. And you need to be comfortable letting them see you like that to have a very strong relationship because then they know who you really are. You know, I have uh, had many people tell me that the one thing that they were scared about in their relationship was like waking up in the morning and they'd run to the bathroom and do their hair and their makeup. And it's like, no, like let someone see who you are because if they love you, they're going to love you the way you are, like in the morning, in the night, in the day, no matter when, okay? And if they don't, then F them. Who cares? You know, that that's how they got to They got to see you that way. But you have to talk too. Like this texting has really gotten in the way of a lot of relationships. I've noticed in the, my readings in like the past four years, because I've been doing this for almost 20 years now, um, it, I've seen so many relationships get ruined by texting because no one's connecting anymore. And it, you can say things on text. And this is another thing I feel like you both may say things on texting that you would never dare say to each other's faces or to each other on the phone. 
like texting gives you more courage to say things that you probably should not say and that you regret later because it's so easy to do because you don't have to look a person in the eye or hear their voice when you hurt their feelings, you know, and vice versa for your person too. Like, I feel like it's easier for them to hurt you over a text message. So I want to make sure that you guys are definitely communicating in a proper manner and to really have a good relationship. You're not going to marry someone that you text 90% of the time. You're going to marry somebody that you look straight in the eye and that you can talk to and you can share your feelings with. All right, I'm going to spread these out a little bit so I can do a little clarification. I don't feel like there's a lot to do because I like feel like for the people this is going to resonate with. Like, really, it's... It's going to be, you need real communication. Okay, so recent past, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody wants to give you their pentacle, you know, that's an earth sign. Again, now again, in your past, in your recent, in your present right now, I'm sorry, my dog's sick. Please say a prayer for him, by the way. Um, this person wants to give you and would be really good with your kids and would be really generous and if you have children, if not, when you do, they're, they're going to be really good. So I want you to remember that. All right, what are we making a decision about? This is what we need to clarify right here is this Two of Swords. Okay, we have the Magician, Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, Energy, again. That means you guys have everything you need to make this happen. And I feel like that's both of you. I'm not feeling one or another energy when I pull that. I feel like both of you have that. But the Ten of Wands are on your back. Like, you guys both have burdens. You need to share those burdens. Okay? Five apiece. And then you have the Queen of Swords. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. So definitely an Earth sign or an Air sign. I'm feeling very strongly right now. Um, somebody needs something or someone needs to be cut out. I'm not feeling a third-party situation completely, but I'm feeling like something in this relationship needs to be cut out, and it may be texting. I'm not saying never text. Like if you're going to, if it's something short to say, absolutely text. But I feel like it's messing with you guys and it's messing with your hydro font because this is in your obstacles area. Your obstacles are, is you're not having good communication right now. Aries, I love you guys, but you guys are major textures. You're like the people that can do it with two fingers, like a hundred miles an hour. I text with one finger. I'm like, so I, you know. Obviously, we have successful relationships. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, no, you seriously, you guys just need a little bit more one-on-one -on -one communication. All right, strength again. Okay, so we're talking about strength. We're um, talking possibly about a Leo, but I just feel like you guys got to be strong and get the courage up to, like, do that FaceTime when you got your mom bun on or you got your scruffy face. Like, you need to get that strength, and I guarantee. All right, Queen of Pentacles. All right more earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. All right. That's a stable person. That's somebody that is like authentic and stands their ground and knows what they want. Like the queen of pentacles is a stable person. So even when she's got her mom bun in, or if you're a man and you got a little scruff and you're in your pajama crappy t-shirt, someone's going to love you anyways. And you need to let someone love you that way. Then we have temperance, which is balance. And this is exactly what I was looking for, Sagittarius energy. I knew this was going to come up because balance is a balance between texting, talking, and one-on-one -on -one communication. I never want you to talk about anything completely serious over text messaging. I want you to talk about serious things, either face-to-face, -face, if that's possible for you right now, or on the phone or video chat. Do not do it over text message, okay? Because then you become the empress, which is like someone that has amazing intuition. She like she can be an Aries just like you. So I feel like this is you actually. Oh my gosh. And you guys know like when you when you talk to someone and you're connecting, really connecting, you're feeling that between you two. Okay? And you can get through an issue and you you will say the right things instead of the wrong things. We're in a text message. You can say all the wrong things. But to their face, you're going to say the right things because you're going to look into their eyes and you're going to see how it makes them feel and you're going to care about it. 
And that's what all the difference is between tensile messaging, talking, and video chatting, is that you're looking into someone's eyes and you hear and feel how they feel. Where text messaging is kind of, it's thoughtless and you don't feel it. And I'm feeling like that's a problem in this um, relationship because in the Seven Pentacles, I mean, this is exhausted. This is exhausted. You know, you don't want this person to feel exhausted because they're on the phone and you too, I feel like you're exhausted. Like you're done texting. Like you're like, I don't want to text anymore. Like, can't you just come over or can we video chat? Because you guys are spending all of your spare time texting when you have a 10 minute conversation to be had that takes five and a half hours over a text message to get to the Ace of Swords, which is your conclusion, which is truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. So what I need you to do is I need you to stop with the texting and I need you to be honest with each other, like face to face or voice to voice. You can do face to face on video chat, see each other if that's possible and healthy or talk on the phone, but you guys need to feel each other's emotions. You're not feeling each other's emotions and that's been the problem this whole time. For the people that this is going to resonate with. All right, my Aries, I love you, but you guys do text a lot. Like, you guys are big-time texters. All right, I just had three cards fall on the ground. So it looks like those are your three angel romance cards right here. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. My arms are really short. All right, I got them. Okay. So we have new love. So this might be new love. All right, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel like that's it too. Like you guys need to stay positive, but you can't be positive with someone you can't connect with. You have to connect on more than a sexual level, like Saturday night booty calls when the kids are at their, you know, father's house or something. You need to like seriously, like every day, see each other, video chat, is free so do it all right give your relationship a chance work on this partnership the way i want you to work on it is connection and it's really it can be hard to get people to connect that are so used to texting but i just feel like this is what you need right now i feel like it that is the block in your relationship i feel like exes could be a little bit of a block but we'll do that on the um the readings next week about the how they feel about you reading and we'll go into like their exes and every and how like their exes affect them but I feel like right now like what you can do for this relationship is actually dial a number and call or video chat and even if you're not comfortable with the mom bun yet then just pretty yourself up you know, or shave your face and talk to someone, but connect. Like there needs to be more connection on a daily basis. And this needs, it may not be every day, but I figure like at least like spirit saying at least four to five times a week, you guys need to see each other's faces or hear each other's voices. That's what's going to help this relationship make it through. If it's going to make it through, because I feel like it can, and that can change everything. If you actually start calling this person and don't forget to let them know, like, okay, this is what I feel was missing in the relationship. This is why I got a little crazy over text message or I was upset or we broke up. Like I didn't feel the connection because of the text messaging. And I feel like we need to go a little more old school because it will work out better for you in the long run. You guys are really good at communication. So I feel like you can totally do this. Okay. I love you. Please don't forget to subscribe. I need subscribers. I'm a newbie, but I am an old reader and an old soul. So don't forget about that. And please say a little prayer for my dog Vinny tonight. He's not feeling well, so I just really need prayers for him. He's a little black pamapoo and I love him so much. And just please say a little prayer for my dog, even if you don't subscribe. Okay, I'm Stella. I hope to see you guys back here next week, and I hope this resonated with you. Have a great uh, week, and I'll see you soon.